I am allowed to experience my feelings. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Discover Yogi and today is day six of my Black History Month vlogs. And it's also Meditative Monday, so I didn't want to completely neglect my Meditative Monday series, so I decided to just put it in with my vlogs as well. And so, of course, in my Meditative Monday series, we talk about anything that you can think about and meditate on. And so today we're focusing on this phrase, I am allowed to experience my feelings. And I know you may be thinking or wondering what that has to do with black history. And it may not directly relate to black history as you may think, but it indirectly relates to our history and our present state in this country. Oftentimes we see in this country that black people are not allowed to feel or to be human like everyone else is. So let me attempt to explain what I mean. Now that we are seeing racism and discrimination and violence against black people, we have a right to feel a certain type of way about it. And not that it hasn't been happening, it's just that now it's recorded and documented more for the whole world to see. And as we show our concern for it, our anger or whatever emotion that we feel in that moment, we are also silenced by non-people of color. So when one of us is killed by the police, we have a right to feel a certain type of way about it. But you will have, you will still have those people who will completely dismiss the fact that the crime or the injustice was race related and then blame the victim. And then to make it worse, they will tell us that we are being too sensitive. And so in a sense, we can't be angry and we can't be defensive. And then for the person who committed the crime or the injustice, their behavior is dismissed and then we are turned around and blamed for what happened to us. So when we speak out about it, we are almost immediately silenced by non-people of color saying that we are to blame for it. And to take it even further, when our stories are out for the whole world to see, we are almost always labeled falsely and mostly in a negative way. And so for black men, they could have been the nicest or the smartest or the most respectful person but they would still somehow get labeled as a thug. Or even for black women, it's the same, it's that the narrative changes to she was too ghetto or ratchet or loud and disrespectful, and she brought it upon herself. And so it all comes back to the fact that we are not allowed to feel or allowed to express ourselves or allowed to just be human, to be ourselves. And another way to look at it is that we are labeled before we even have a chance to prove ourselves or before we even speak. And so for our black men, it is hard for them to show a different side of themselves when they are already labeled as a threat or viewed as a threat. And all of their interactions with non-people of color are going to be flawed. They can be as nice as they can, but their actions can still be misinterpreted for the worst. And for our black women, we cannot speak aggressively or act with any kind of force because then we'll be labeled as angry or more specifically as an angry black woman even when we are not but i just want us all to know that we are allowed to feel we are allowed to experience our feelings to address them we are allowed to express ourselves and we are allowed to be ourselves and one more example which is sort of an inside issue I guess you could say is that many of our black men were raised to not show emotion because it was a sign of weakness and that's just not good for our mental health we have to create an environment for our men to be able to experience their own feelings so that they can know how to address them and deal with them properly and the same goes for women we put so much emphasis on being strong and appearing strong that we neglect how we address our feelings and how we deal with them. So we would have to do the same thing as create that environment for us to experience our feelings so that we know how to properly address them and deal with them. So I just want everyone to know that you are allowed to experience your emotions. You're allowed to express yourself. You're allowed to be yourself. That we don't need permission from other people. Even though we're viewed the way that we are viewed in this world, we have to take it upon ourselves to take care of our own mental health by allowing ourselves to feel the emotions that we have. We're human too. Just because we're black does not mean that we cannot feel and that we don't have the right to feel the way that we do. So I just want everyone to know that you have that right to do that. 
I really hope that I brought the right light to this subject and that I conveyed it to you guys in a way that you understand. So let me know what your feelings are on this topic. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Let's have a discussion on this. Let's talk about it. And so that's it for this video. I will be back tomorrow with my day six vlog. So I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also tap the bell so that you can be notified when I upload new videos. Follow me on all of my socials and visit my website thiscurvyyogi.com for even more exclusive content. So I will see you guys soon.